would do uh, Glinda's makeup look from The Wizard of Oz. I went to go see the movie the other day and now I have the palette. So that's Glinda. We're going to try to recreate that with mostly this palette. I'm going to use a little bit of other stuff, but mostly we're going to use just this palette. So if you guys want to recreate the look, you can. So these are what the colors look like. I think they're super gorgeous. I think they're just amazing. Alright, so now let's get started. As always, I'm just going to prime my eyelids with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And this is in the color Eden. So just to stop our eyeshadow from creasing. My eyebrows are dark, but hers are light. I just have dark hair, so I'm not going to put like a blonde wig on or anything. Um, my eyebrows are filled in though, just in case you guys are wondering. So I'll link a video um right here i guess for you guys to see the eyebrow tutorial that i have here and you guys can see how to fill in your eyebrow whether whatever color matches your hair next i'm just going to take this flat brush and i'm going to take this first color here let's see if i could take these out no okay so i'm going to take this color right here and we're going to put this all over our eyelid And Glinda has like a very natural look, but like gorgeous at the same time, so we're just gonna do that too. For our brow bone area, I'm gonna use this lighter color, this like half gold thing, it's like two halves. So I'm gonna use the same brush and just take a little bit of that and use that as a highlight. For our outer V area in our crease, I'm going to use a little bit of that. You don't want to use too much because it's a little dark. But I want to use this palette as much as I can for this look. So, so there you go. That adds a little bit of definition to our eyes. I do want to use a little bit of this pink. And I'm going to just place like a little bit of that onto my eyelid as well she's i mean you can't really see her eyelids in the pictures i'm looking at but i really like the pink so we're just gonna add a little bit just like a dab of pink just like on the outer part and we're gonna go blend that in with the other color in a sec so take your other color again the original color we used and just blend those two colors together. I feel like I need to define the outer part a little more so I'm gonna use the purple just this purple right here and take like a pencil brush and just take a little bit and take a fluffy brush again and just blend that out So then just to blend that out a little bit, I'm going to take um, the same color that we applied to the eyelid and just go over it a little bit. For eyeliner, I'm going to take this like purple um, eyeliner that came with the palette and this is in the color Rockstar. And I'm just going to apply this as close to my lash line as possible, not really on my waterline. So we're just going to apply that outside. And stop like halfway. And then I want to blend it out with a pencil brush. For the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to take this light blue, if you guys can see right there, and like a smaller brush, and just put this on the inner corner of my eyes. It has like this metallic shine to it, it's like a bluish but white, and it's super pretty. So we're just going to put this on the inner corner. And then a little bit over that, I want to put a little bit of silver. So I'm going to take a little bit of that with the same brush. Put a little bit on there. I feel like the white gives you like a more kind of pure angel-like look um, then for our lips we're going to use the lip gloss that came with it or the high saturated lip thing and this is in the color um, Glinda it's in the color Glinda so we're gonna put that all over our lips But 
since Glinda has like a more kind of peachy color on top of that I thought I would just apply an orange lip gloss and this is from NYX and it's in the color pop and I like the glitter touch to it so we're just gonna apply some on our lips too so those are our lips and then for our cheeks uh, where's my brush? I'm going to use a blush brush and I'm going to use the color Peaches because I feel like her cheeks are like orangey. So here's Peaches from MAC. And I'm just going to swirl my brush in there with whatever's left of my Peaches blush and then I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. I also think she has some highlight going on so I'm going to take this MAC Mineralize um, highlight and this is in the color light scapade and I'm just gonna use like this nice I don't know brush thing bob and I'll show this show you where I'm going to apply it because it looks like she has a little bit of highlight so take some on my brush swirl my brush in there I'm gonna apply this down the center of my nose then our hair this brush is a little big but we're gonna deal with it right now then I want to apply some right here and then on the other side I'm trying to apply a lot so you guys can see because it doesn't really look like it in my mirror but I think in my camera it will then we could apply a little under our brow bone or on our brow bone area and I feel like she has some right here so we're just gonna put some right there um, for mascara, I just apply your mascara. I have some on already, already, but I will apply some again. Actually, you might want to apply fake lashes because um, her lashes are looking mighty long in the picture that I see. But I'm going babysitting, so I don't really think I should be applying falsies and be all dressed up and made up and done to go babysitting, so curl your lashes and then apply your mascara. I'm just using Colossal Volume Maybelline Mascara. I'm almost done with it. I'm going to need a new one. I'm going to apply to my bottom lashes and then my top lashes. And there we go. That's our whole Glinda look right here. Or my version of the Glinda look. Um, for her little headpiece thing. She has a crown. I don't really have a crown so we're gonna improvise here and I'm gonna put on this flower thing that has like pearls on it and some golden textury stuff. I don't really know how this goes but we're gonna separate the two and put it like that and we're gonna just like pretend that we're um, good witches. So there you have it. This is my version of Glinda's makeup look. As for the palette, I think this is a, blah, 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 wow, can't talk. And pencil's falling. I think this is a great palette to have. I would think I don't really like is how like when I open it and then close it, you can't close it. You have to like push it forward and then it closes. Um, I don't know. That's just weird, but. I love, love, love these colors inside this palette. They're like nothing else I've seen before. Like some are shimmer. Actually, I think, yeah, some are shimmer or most of them rather. Um, my favorite one would have to be this blue one because it's like a holographic blue. It's like blue with like a metallic and I am massively in love. I also love the silver and the gold and I love the pink and I just love all these colors. I think it's a great palette to have. And you also get like the eyeliner and you get the uh, lip gloss, the saturated lip gloss, which I do, I love these things. I have one of my own too. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye my lovey cakes. I love you. Bye.